Hello everyone, it is day 9 of my trip to the UK, November 3rd, and I am staying in Southport with the Worgen family. The day started off with a lovely breakfast that Yvonne Morgan made for us. After breakfast, it was now my turn in the kitchen. Hello everyone, it's the morning of November 3rd, and I'm just going to make my baking specialty, chocolate chip banana bread. The recipe that I use, I've used for years. It's always been a huge success. It's a recipe by connoisseursveg.com. I'll put a link in the description down below. The only alteration to the recipe I make is that instead of using a cup of chopped walnuts, I substitute in dark chocolate chips. And boy, did this turn out delicious as usual. Then it was time to film a British candy and Doctor Who foods taste test video. Hello everyone, today on the Doctor Who Guide I am here to try out some British candies as well as some Doctor Who related food. We've got some Jammy Dodgers, Jelly Babies, Kit Kats, Kinder Egg, Percy Pigs, Lion Candy Bar. Alright, so I'm gonna start off while these are still warm with some authentic fish fingers. Uh, from the UK. Uh, in America we call these fish sticks, um, but I've never seen ones that looked like this. The breading is different. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. So the thing is, I don't think it's bad. The two don't really mix. So you think, oh that's a nice custard, and then you're like, oh that's a nice fish finger. So the custard is good. All right, next up, let's do the Jelly Babies. Now I've had these before, but I've never ever had the Jelly Babies Snowmen, and they are red and green. They do have little hats and scarves, which is adorable. The green, and it's like an apple flavor. Very tasty. I like the red better. It's a raspberry flavor. Those are great. Can't fault them. We also have the Asda brand of Jelly Babies. So we're going to be fair. We're going to try them out. So far, I haven't found a brand that I like better than the Maynard Bassett's, but we'll see. Four or five different colors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is like two stuck together. Wow. Immediately way more chewy. Stronger flavor. That's a good flavor. It's artificial, but the purple is like a grape flavor. The yellow is definitely lemon. Green is like an apple or a lime. The coating actually gets on your fingers with these and they're chewier, which I don't like. Next up, we're gonna try Jammy Dodgers. And we have two flavors, one of which is the jam and cream and the other is raspberry. And so I think the jam and cream is more screen accurate. Cream on the bottom and then a little circle of jam on the inside. Mm. Mmm. There's a lot of cookie. That's mostly what I'm getting. And I like more jam. That's good. It's, it's mostly a crackery experience, but it's very tasty. Now we're going to try the raspberry. Oh, so this is the official Jammy Dodgers brand. It even says JD on the biscuit. It's got the heart on the inside and it looks like just jam on the in inside. So both are a pretty dry experience. Probably meant to have it with tea or something. This has a more stretchy and chewy jam, more jam. I like this one better. Both are tasty. Next up we have Jaffa Cakes. I've never had these before. So this is chocolate on the top and cake, I guess, on the bottom. So we're gonna try it out. Mmm, that texture is nice. Chocolatey and orangey. Apparently there's an orange jelly on the inside. I like it. Then we have Lion Candy Bars. This is the candy bar itself, covered in chocolate. Let's have a bite. Oh wow, wow. Wow, it's got crunchy nougat, some caramel. I think like a Snickers bar, but I like a Snickers better. I'm sure many people enjoy it, but I don't really want to finish that. Next up, we have the Kinder Egg. This has a surprise inside and apparently had to be banned from America because people were eating the toys on the inside. So this is not entirely edible. I'm going to open it up. It's chocolate, but inside the egg, it looks like white chocolate on the inside, which was is unexpected. That gives you sort of different sweetness. And then on the inside, you have this container, and inside is a buildable toy. That's a monkey, and you have your instructions. So this looks like a monkey pilot who is flying a palm tree propelled plane. That's very, that's very cool. I've not had a toy come out of a chocolate egg before. So, oh, and then finally we have Kit Kat. These are bigger than what I'm used to. Wow, okay, so it looks like you can break it in half. That tastes completely different to a Kit Kat than I've ever had in the US. And I don't really like it. It's too much chocolate. 
I have some friends who are joining me who really want this chocolate, but they can't have it. This is Myrtle. That's Lucy. And I think we better wrap this up before they eat me alive. But we have one more candy left to open, and it is the Percy Pigs. I couldn't believe my ears that that's a, a brand of candy. Oh, they are cute little gummy pigs. The sweetest little things. Very chewy. Think gummy bear, but it's strawberry flavored. I like that very much. I think they're one of my favorites. I think my favorite, Maynard Bassett's Jelly Babies. Least favorite was definitely the Kit Kat. There we go. Now I've tried some British candies and some Doctor Who foods with my friend the Dalek over here. How did you get here? Grandma's been keeping an eye on you. Uh, you're not supposed to be here. You've been eating all this nasty candy? Well, you're gonna have some nice and healthy green eggs and ham from Dr. Seuss. That's Dr. Seuss, not Dr. Who. That's not Dr. Who. I think I know the difference by now. I'm not eating that. You're gonna eat something healthy today if I have to force it down your throat. Why is it green? I don't want to. What is in that? Quit being a baby. No, 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 no. I'm not eating that. After I had recovered from my unfortunate run-in with Grandma, Mark wanted to show me the original Doctor Who artwork that he had in his collection. This artwork was from the 1985 Doctor Who annual, specifically the story The Real Here Word, as well as Day of the Dragon, which had some beautiful artwork in there as well of the Sixth Doctor and Perry. It was so amazing to see the original medium right in front of you and the ways in which it was drawn and what you saw in the final printed annual. It was so special and so incredible. He had some incredible artwork for the Fifth Doctor and Tegan as well in the 1986 Doctor Who annual, specifically the story Fungus, as well as the short story The Creation of Camelot. After we finished looking at the 1986 annual, Mark showed me some artwork by Andy Walker for the 2006 Doctor Who annual. He has an Australian edition, just calls itself Thrilling Adventures in Time and Space. But getting to see this full-sized artwork, I mean, the difference in size was three times, maybe two to three times. It was incredible. You could see the ink on the page and it was just stunning. And he also had some original Lee Sullivan artwork from the Radio Times comic strip with Stacy and Sard. He also had some original artwork by Dickie Howitt, and Tim Quinn does the comedy for these Doctor Who magazine strips, which was very, very cool to see in person, these full-size comic strips. It was just so special and so exciting. I also filmed with Mark his DVD collection video, and then it was time to get ready for bed, get some sleep, because tomorrow I would be leaving the Wargans in Southport and heading to meet up with Aaron from All Things Doctor Who in Tutbury and Hatton. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who Guide YouTube channel, you know it makes sense.